In this lecture, we'll be studying ARMA processes or autoregressive moving average processes. First, let's review an autoregressive of order P or ARP process. Uh, in spirit, your current term YT is a weighted average of its past values plus a white noise term. And of course, we can work on any time scale, but it's easiest to think of these on a daily time scale. So we have a white noise term for every day, day one, day two, day three. And then we have our y's defined as an ARP process. If for these constant parameters, mu, phi one, phi two, up to phi p, we have this defining equation. And so we think of this as, how does yt differ from its mean today? Well. It differs from its mean today based on some memory of how it differed from its mean yesterday, plus some memory of how it differed from its mean two days ago, so on and so forth, down to some memory of how it differed from its mean p days ago, plus a new noise term, which represents the arrival of new information. The key idea here is that yt is remembering something about its past values. Typically, it's most intuitive to think of these fees as percentages. So if phi1 was, say, 0.6, you can think of it as yt today remembers 60% of itself from yesterday. You can algebraically manipulate this to get it in this form, where beta naught is this constant here, one minus the sum of the fees, all that times mu. And with this, we can see that you can interpret the ARP process as a regression where the response is yt and the predictors are the previous values of y, hence the term auto regression. Now we do have conditions on phi for this to be stationary but when the phi satisfy these conditions, we have a model for stationary time series where yt is remembering parts of itself. Alternatively, we have the moving average of order q or maq process. And the idea here is that the moving average process remembers the past white noise terms. And so it's key to note that it's remembering the prior epsilon terms, not the prior values of itself. So our formal definition says we have our white noise process, and we say y1, y2, so on, is an MAQ process if for constant parameters mu, phi1, phi2, up to phi q. And we see the defining equation says that yt today differs from its mean with a new noise term, but then we have a piece of yesterday's noise term and a piece of the noise term from two days ago down to the piece of the noise term from q days ago. So in this case, your time series does have some memory, but it is not remembering previous values of itself, like the AR process, but it's just remembering the previous noise terms. <clears throat> and we have the weights of the thetas, and in this case, there are no constraints on the thetas for stationary. So this is another model for stationary time series, and it has different properties in the AR process, in, in particular, um, the autocorrelation for an MAQ process drops to zero after a lag of Q. So for, <clears throat> for lags larger than Q, we have no autocorrelation, whereas for an AR process, the autocorrelation never drops to zero. It does decay to zero, but it never drops to zero. So having these two types of models for stationary processes suggests the idea, can we use them together and get a 
more robust model for stationary time series. And so that's how we arrive at the ARMA process, the autoregressive moving average process. So we're combining ARP and MAQ models to create this more robust model for the modeling of stationary time series. Our definition, we have the same white noise process, and we say that our Ys are an ARMA PQ process if, and notice these parameters. These are just the parameters from the, well, we have the mu that's common to both the autoregressive and the moving average. We have the phi's from the autoregressive process and the thetas from the moving average process. And we see why t differs from its mean according to pieces of itself of prior days. So this is our ARP part. And then here, we have our MAQ part. So we are now allowing YT to remember previous values, portions of previous values of itself, as well as the previous noise terms, and then the new term, so the new noise term. And the idea here is now we allow for a much more complex autocorrelation structure because you can go back and choose P to be whatever you want. How many days in the past are you allowing it to remember parts of itself? And then you can choose Q separately. How many of the past noise terms are you allowing? And now you can see you get all these different combinations of P and Q. And each combination will have its own different autocorrelation structure. And remember, the autocorrelation structure for ARP never actually reaches zero, though it does decay to zero. And the MAQ process has an autocorrelation that falls to zero for lags large, larger than Q. So this gives us a much more robust class of models to model stationary time series. And we notice that it's actually an extension of the AR and the MA models that we already know. So again, here is our defining equation for the ARMA model. And if we think about what these special cases are, so an ARMA 0, 0, in that case, we're remembering no past days and no past noise terms. And so all that will remain is epsilon t. And we see this is a white noise. This is nothing more than just a white noise process. If we think of the ARMA 1, 0, so our p is 1 and our q is 0, in this case, we have one term for the autoregressive piece. So we have a phi 1 term. We always have that new noise term. And then we have no terms for the previous noise terms. And we see that this is no more than an AR1. When we look at the ARMA01, so we have no memory for the autoregressive part, we have the epsilon t. And if q is 1, we're remembering one previous noise term, which means we have epsilon t minus theta 1, epsilon t minus 1. And we see that this is an ma1 process. So this is a nice property of the ARMA processes, is that it is an extension or a generalization of the types of processes that we've already been working with, particularly our autoregressive or MA. And it, it's a, you can extend this if you say you looked at an ARMA 3-0, an 
ARMA 3.0 would have three memory terms for previ the previous values of itself, yt minus 1, yt minus 2, y yt minus 3, and no memory from previous noise terms, which means this would be an AR3. So again, this gives us a generalization of the AR and the MA processes that allows us a much more robust class of models for the modeling of stationary time series. And again, there are conditions on the parameters of the model for stationarity, which we would address in a separate lecture.